Sar Paras. Yes. Talk about that. Yeah. The Bible speaks of an entity called the Sar Paras. The Sar Paras is actually mentioned in Daniel. And so it'll be familiar when I tell you what it did. But what this entity, it's a, it's a, it's a fallen angel it's a de- or a demonic entity. And it is, its mission is to stop the purpose of God for Israel. And particularly the end time purposes. It's the one that stops the revelation coming from Daniel for 20 days. The, you know, and, and yeah, the, the Temple Mount is the ground zero of prophecy. It, it's, it's, you know, every, you got Israel, then you, in, in Israel you have Jerusalem, and then it narrows down to the Temple Mount. Temple Mount is where it's going to take place. That, the temple's going to be built. The, the Bible says in Revelation that the Antichrist will be there. He's going to desecrate it. So it's all going to be the end. Messiah is going to reign from the Temple Mount. So it's all there. So the enemy will do anything in his power to stop the purposes of God from happening on the Temple Mount because it's over for him. You know, so an amazing thing. That's why the temple, actually the dragon has control of that mount mm-hmm. because he does not allow right now. There, no Jewish person can go on that mountain of the temple and pray or do anything related to God on the temple mount. Where are you to do it? Well, so people don't know this. I will just say this. I revealed in the book. But something happened at the beginning of that year that had to do with the Temple Mount. And, and it had to do with, the, the, uh, there was a fear that the Jewish people were going to celebrate a holiday on the Temple Mount. And so all hell broke loose on the Temple Mount. There was a riot. And, and there was all sorts of stuff happened. And so the, Hamas, at that time, issued a, war, issued a statement saying, Israel, you're playing with fire. You've desecrated, you've desecrated this mount desecrated him <laughs> yeah and so and so you're gonna have you're gonna reap it when the, the what happened october 7th was the answer to the temple mount in fact when 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 hamas issued a statement after october 7th they said it's what happened on the mount and you we said you, we told you were playing with fire you desecrated our mount. This, this is the dragon speaking because it looked like the dragon when it, when it, you know the, the, he was going to lose some of the dominion because the jewish people are going to come back well so he went crazy October 7th is the craziness, the madness of the dragon about the Temple Mount. In fact, Hamas, you know that Hamas, I told you what they called their operation. They called it Operation Flood, but the full name was Operation Al-Aqsa Flood. It was, that's the Temple Mount. So they were literally saying it was because of what happened on the Temple Mount. And do you know what also, Mondo, the Temple Mount, this is revelation behind October 7th. Not only that, what happened September 11th, behind September 11th, was also the Temple Mount. I won't go into the detail, but when Osama bin Laden issued a statement after 9-11, it was basically the same words as the statement of Hamas after October 7th, 20 years later. And it was the same thing. It's like the dragon speaking. He said, you you were going to touch my mountain. And so so that's why 9-11, that's why October 7th. And something else, you know, the Jewish people have one holiday that celebrates Solomon building the temple on the Temple Mount. And the thing is, they actually read the account of Solomon. They open the scrolls and they read it about the the temple on the Temple Mount, the dedication. Well, to the enemy, that's a threat. You know, and so all over it, you know what day that holiday fell on? October 7th. Hmm. And so that's why, so the Jewish people are are chanting the, the temple on the Temple Mount from Solomon. And 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 Hamas is is launching their operation Temple Mount at the same time. It's all a war that is linked to Revelation. It's amazing. Yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing coincidental when, when you think about the spiritual realm and, and what they're trying to do. And as we look around, Jonathan, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it over the last six months. The, 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 the anti-Semitism has just, uh, I mean, it's always been there, but now it has just opened up. It's become just extensive everywhere. I mean, that's got to be part of the mystery. I mean, to talk about that. Totally, totally. In Revelation, it says that the dragon, out of his mouth, not only comes a flood, but comes spirits, unclean spirits like frogs, it says. They go throughout the earth, and what's their job? They go throughout the earth to rouse the earth to come to Armageddon, to come to destroy Israel. So there are spirits, demonic spirits. And what we saw after this, I mean, it's amazing. You think after something like October 7th, you'd have all this sympathy for Israel. Well, the overwhelming response around the world was hatred for Israel, hatred for the victims, you know, tearing down the pictures of the hostages. You know, it was demonic, just like October 7th. It was just, and w- that was a taste of what's coming. That was a taste of revelation. I don't believe there has ever been such a widespread outbreak of anti-Israel, anti-Jewish hatred as what we just saw, what we recent, what we have seen around the world now. Even America, 
even yeah. America. Shocking. And you know, so it's telling the future, and it's affecting the young. You know that most of the, almost the majority of young people are for Hamas. They believed October 7th was justified. So that, that tells you where we're going. And this is Harvard University. And you know what? They're chanting, from the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free. free. You know, that's the destruction of Israel. That's the borders of Israel. But you know what? Even that has the, 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 the fingerprints of the dragon. Because you know where that comes from, Mondo? The mystery of that? You go back to Genesis. When God gave the promise of the land to Abraham, he said, from the, specifically, from the sea to the river. Again, from the sea to the river. See, the enemy is the inverter. He reverts it, and he says, from the river to the sea, Israel will be destroyed. So this is totally the enemy. We saw a little taste of what's going to lead to Armageddon.